All right, in today's lesson, I want to show you how to split a column of first names and last names into di two different columns uh, using the text to columns feature. So you can see in column A that we have the first name and the last name in the same cell. Now, I also want you to notice that there's something in column B. So let's, let's uh, do the text to columns and see what happens when there's uh, uh, something in the column to the right of what you're going to split. And then we're going to see how we're going to handle that. So we're going to highlight column A. Now we're going to pick on the data menu up top, data. All right. And then under data, we're going to pick on text, the columns. Now, typically when you do this, it's going to be delimited. Because if you think about it, what separates the first name and the last name is the space. Uh, so that's the delimiting character. Sometimes it's fixed width, but most of the time it's delimited. So we'll pick on delimited. Now you want to tell it that it is a space in this case. So I'm going to uncheck it where it says tab and then pick where it says space. And notice how it drew a line between the first name and last name based on where the space is. And that's, uh, that's exactly what should happen. We'll pick on next. Now, sometimes you have to change things on this screen, but many times you don't. You can pick on each column and make each column specifically a text field or a date field or not even skip it at all. I mean, not even uh, import at all. We'll just skip that. So you can do that column by column. In this case, we don't have to do anything on this uh, window. So I'll pick on finish. Now, notice you. Uh, it says there's already data here. Do you want to replace it? So watch what happens when I click on OK. Notice how it replaced the data that was in column B. So I'm going to go ahead and undo this so I can do it again. So if there is a column to the right of what you're trying to split, you have to have at least one blank column. So I'm going to right click on letter A, uh, letter B, and we'll pick on insert. Now, I said at least one column because let's say there was a middle initial with these names or maybe a junior at the end or some kind of suffix. So we um, each time there, was, there would be a space, you would have to add another blank column because each space would signify that it would start a new column. So if I had a junior in any one of those or a middle initial, then I would add another column, you know, so you would add as many columns as you think uh, it's going to split to based on the number of spaces in this case. So watch again, we're going to highlight column A, we'll pick on text to columns, it is delimited. So I'll pick on next, we're going to pick on space, pick on next. And in this case, I can skip that column, so I'll pick on finish. And notice how we were able to split the first name and last name based on the text to columns feature. If you ever had to do that manually, I know that's going to save you a lot of time.